um, yeah, I'm trying a shotgun, cheap shotgun microphone today, so I don't know if it's picking up the sound. Um, yeah, I'm going to visit a cave where human remains have been found dating back 13,000 years. Uh, it's called the Lynx Cave and it was discovered in 1962. This is an out by the way. It's a mine I think. Let's go have a look at that. I don't, yeah this is a mine. There's, oh shit it's slippy. There's lots of mine. Oh I'm not going in there today. I haven't got wellies. Looks good. That's not what I've come to see. That's a lead mine. Yeah, I'll come here again with wellies. <sighs> yeah, this pl place, Bryn Allen, is riddled with old lead mines and potholes. Natural potholes and man made lead mines. Jesus, it's slippy. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but I normally like to keep these places a secret because uh, it spoils it for the genuine activists if you reveal these places and the scallies turn up, you know, the outdoor equivalent to fly campers. I have no real interest in, the, in these places apart from, uh, well, I don't know, an Instagram appeal or somewhere to get pissed or I don't know <sighs> certainly a lot of these places have been spoiled by their popularity but um, yeah in this instance the Lynx Cave is well known if you google it there's a lot of information in fact it's worth googling because you'll uh, find out a lot about it This is amazing, fascinating area. This area of Bryn Allen has got everything. Rock climbing, bouldering, hill walking, mountain biking, potholing. And it's a fantastic area. Is this microphone on? Yeah, as you can see, the autumnal colours and that's a big old quarry of Burley Hill, I think it's called. Been closed for about 20 years. That area has got some interesting potholes, uh, little outcrops. This is one of the first places when I started rock climbing that I came. They're not in a guidebook, but they're nice little outcrops little limestone outcrops yeah but I'm tr trying to find this uh, lynx cave I've got a grid reference I've got a rough idea where it is and in fact I might have been there 30 years ago I used to live near here when I moved to Wales and a friend a young friend who lived nearby told me about it oh, hang on I'm there yeah a young friend told me about it and we we visited this cave and I remember it was a bit of a crawl to get in and uh, in fact I've got a photograph somewhere I'll see if I can dig it out so I might have been in this uh, yeah I might have been in this lynx cave Ugh. I know it's at the foot of an outcrop so I'm going to be scrambling down soon trying to find it Yeah, I'm gonna have to start working my way down soon. I know it's um, I know it's at the base of a an outcrop, tiny, insignificant-looking little uh, defile in the rock. I did see some potholers. I came here a week ago. That's what gave me the idea to come back. 
look for this lynx cave. Uh, yeah, I saw some potholes uh, heading up here last week, about 10 of them, all in the, uh, the gear. I know I'm going to get muddy today so if I get in. I put my, uh, haven't put my Bezzy outdoor stuff on, my, on my Patagonia or my Montana, put my cheapo stuff on. But um, yeah, I saw them last week coming up here and there's lots of mines, there's about 12 mines here. Uh, so I might see, there's one called the Belvedere mine, which is a through trip apparently, but you need a rope. Probably have to abseil down the lower chamber. So see if I can find that and uh, see if I had a bolt hanger you could clip onto. start exploring lower down oh. now this is a sugar an outcrop I don't think this is it though it might be lower down yeah there should be telltale so what's this there's a mark on the screen is there Yeah, I have got, I must check the grid reference. It's not like it's this tier. It's got to be lower down, I think. Uh, well, if you do come here, be careful, because uh, some of these outcrops are quite high and it's slippy. And you do yourself a serious injury if you fell over the top. Is it this one? Is it this one? I can see like a path down there. I'm gonna let's switch off and we'll go and have a deco. Oh, Yeah, the phone's ringing and my bag, I'm not answering it. Oh, sugar! Well, that's bound to happen. Oh, will you stop phoning me? Well, I'm killing myself. It's probably junk anyway. Oh. Right, don't think it's there. This looks worn here. It should be a fairly popular cave so or is it really should look at the grid reference oh it's hard to stand up here is that it oh i know it's a oh sugar it's really hard to stand up my balance is... No, no, I couldn't get in there. Somebody's very persistent trying to get in touch with me. Uh, oh, what a stupid get I am. Uh, I've got my grid reference app on the phone. And I forgot my OS map. It's absolutely useless without the OS map. I had it all packed. I had all, everything laid out, what I was bringing all the recording gear, maps, everything, and I've left the bloody map behind. So I'm just going to have to poke around. This path looks a bit worn here. Um, it looks like it's walked, but yeah, so far I'm not having much luck. I'll find it, although I won't find it with a grid reference. It'll just be by uh, exploration. Oh. 
Well, this is most peculiar. It's um, I've just looked at the grid reference I've got on my phone, and I've looked at my app. And according to the grid reference and the app reference, I'm right more or less here. I'm like one digit out, one section of the grid reference is spot on. And the other section, God, the crows are giving it some. I hope it's not an omen. All right, all right, birds. <laughs> What are they saying? Keep away, keep away. Doom awaits. Uh, yeah, it's here somewhere. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, <laughs> if you can find this, uh, respect, because <laughs> you've, uh, you've earned it. Really hard. Uh, check in the grid reference, really close. But I'm back on the path that I came along before I dropped down. It's bloody awful on the foot. Practically rock climbing to come up that last bit on greasy vegetated limestone. Um, as you might be able to see, loads of uh, outcrops here. But I don't fancy going back down again. So I'm really puzzled where it is, and I'm just going to keep looking. Yeah, I think this is going to be um, a vlog in two parts. <laughs> I've searched, it's bloody lethal this uh, hillside, it's slippery as hell, um, and even though the grid reference I've got, I'm right by it and I've been up and down this hill, uh, I just can't see it, and it'll be dark in a couple of hours, I can't carry on forever, uh, you know, it's a hillside that's just littered with limestone outcrops, and uh, I've got a friend who's a caver, lives near here. I'm going to ask him on Facebook um, if he can give me any clues. I mean, you shouldn't need any more clues than a bloody grid reference. But I did forget the map. I know I'm too high here. I've seen a pin po uh, spot ref a spot point on a map, and it's much lower down. And I'm buggered if I'm going down there again. It's awful getting down. So, um, yeah, it looks like it's this is just going to be confined to the search, this vlog. And then... I'm gonna not giving up. I'm gonna come back and find it. I'm not sure this is the link cave. 99% sure, but it looks interesting. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get the light out and have a look. All right, let's have a look. Oh. Right, interesting. Oh, slippery. No fall here. Yay! Oh god, this is ooh, horrible. Uh, need to do a get a rock up, climb an old jammy foot. Uh, oh, it goes around the corner. It's this bloody oh, this um oh, keep falling. Right. Don't fall you bastard. Now your foot in there. That's it. Oh don't fancy this. Oh no. Oh I'm not crawling in my damn life. Hang on. Let's see if I can see what's going on. Goes up, yeah. It does go up. That continues. Ah, shit. Stuck. Oh god. Yeah. Nasty. Let us run on again. Uh, yeah, I think it needs to come in. Bloody old overalls or something. It goes up. It goes up there. But I'm sure it's not the Lynx cave. Yeah, it does continue. Yeah, really blind in here. Send the light down.
yeah it does uh oh filthy it does continue but you need to come i know a lot of cave as well bloody old boiler suits and things and that's what you need i'm not getting uh even though i've got old clothes on i'm not crawling in mud so let's have a, a look at it another time but i don't think it's the lynx cave it's my light off <sighs> nice view <laughs> once you get out using this microphone it, it's um hasn't got its, its own power source so you gotta switch it on uh done it <laughs> i've done it twice now and uh not recorded anything done that once before uh, anyway that's by the by yeah i'm sorry a uh, bit of an anti-climax because i haven't found the lynx cave i'm sure that's not it that is uh it's either a natural pothole or it's a mine this this area this hillside is littered with old mines and uh, pot natural potholes and all the mines are listed on google so i'm going to search tonight and find out what this one is pretty sure this is a mine but i didn't fancy it today it's very muddy and squirmy and i noticed potholes always wear like boiler suits so um i shall come suitably attired next time and squirm my way through but i didn't fancy it today um need to get more info on the whereabouts of the lynx cave because according to my grid reference and my phone app which which gives, states the uh, exact grid reference grid point that you are at at that moment in time i was very close really right on top of it but i just couldn't find it i was at the foot of all the outcrops where it could possibly be and uh no sign of it and um it's horrible hillside anyway, it's limestone, it's covered in sharp hawthorns, it's bloody awful to negotiate, but anyway, thanks for watching, and um, no doubt I shall return and uh, try and find the lynx cave this time, okay, see you then.